हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक माय नेम इज प्रियंद्र कुमार दिस इज द फोर्थ एंड लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ ऑटोमेटेड टू डू लिस्ट इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल इन फर्स्ट थ्री पार्ट आई हैव एक्सप्लेन्ड यू दीज वर्कशीट टू डू लिस्ट सीट डेटाबेस सपोर्ट सीट एंड रेगुलर टास्क लिस्ट सीट आई हैव आल्सो एक्सप्लेन्ड यू the macros which i have created for these linked pictures and for this refresh button and this delete button now in this part i will explain you the macro which i have created for this plus button which is to add new ad hoc task and this update task button i have used the user form here to add new task and this calendar control also and to update the task again i have used the user form so i will explain you these user form and their codings friends if you have not watched the first three part of this series request to you please watch that videos so it will be easy to understand let me go to the developer tab and visual basic and then i will explain you the coding so first of all i will explain you the coding for this plus button right click and go to the assign macro and we have assigned the macro here that is open add new form so this is the code the small code which i have added open add new form and here i have used this form name which is frm underscore add underscore task dot show and show module as false so let me go to this form this is a simple user form i have added this image here then this label this is a group and then i have used this label and this is the tax box action date and this is the tax box in this tax box the action date tax box let me go to the properties you can see i have taken enabled equal to false however on the task name it is enabled equal to true that means you cannot enter the data directly in this tax box so if i will go here you can see you can type here but you cannot type in this box because this is the date so i want to input the date using the calendar only now i'll show you the calendar this is the calendar friends i have already created a tutorial of this calendar how to design this calendar in bba and how to use this calendar request to please go to my youtube channel and pause these three part of this video which is fully functional dynamic calendar control in bba i have explained each and every code of this calendar and we are using the same calendar here we have moved that calendar into this project now this is a simple image like let me show you the toolbox this is the image so this is a simple image and we have inserted a picture right click go to the properties and here picture we have assigned the picture so now i have put some coding here i'll show you this is a simple code like call calendar dot selected date calendar dot selected date you will learn in the calendar tutorial how to design a calendar and how to call this calendar in bba you will learn there please watch that videos if you want to learn more about the calendar control then we have used me dot text box 2 this is the text box 2 you can see here all right so by default it will be connected with this tax box 2 task name is the tax box 1 you can see here this is the tax box 1 and these are the command buttons so you can simply create the command button this is the command button and this is the tax box in the cancel button i have put the code this is the simple code like unload me it will unload the form on the add button i have put the code i'll show you that is we have put some validations first of all like the first tax box which is the task name should not be blank if it is blank then it will give you this message it will accept some tax box 2 which is the tax box for date it should not be blank again so make sure you are inputting the action date now here we are taking this variable which is dim sh as worksheet and setting this sh with the database sheet and in this line we are just checking the duplicacy maybe whatever ad hoc task you are going to add that is already available for that day so we are using application dot worksheet function count ifs sh is the database sheet so let me go to the database sheet on column b this is the database sheet column b is the task name and the criteria we are passing the task name which is on tax box 1 dot value then we are taking the date and date is on column c you can see due date 
and this is available on text box 2. So if this count is greater than 0, that means this record is already available in database, then it will give you this message, this task is already available in database and it will exit up. Now here we are taking them LR as long and we are taking LR equal to application.count a sh.range b2b sh is the database c. So we are just using the count a function to count how many records are available. Whatever value will return that will be the last row. For example in this case it will return 10 that means last row is the 10. Then here we are using sh dot a and LR plus 1 last row plus 1 we are putting first of all LR the serial number. Then on column B, we are putting me.textbox1.value which is the task name and here we are putting the due date. By default status we are putting pending. On column G, we are putting this formula which is B last row plus 1 and C last row plus 1. Let me show you this formula. On column G, this is the ID column and we are putting this formula here. Alright. And once you have added this, then what we are doing, we are calling the refresh data macro to show the data from database to to-do list sheet. And then we are putting this message box and unloading this form. Now let me show you how it will work. Let me run this code and here on the database, let's say I'm putting new task name like mar team attendance. And you can change the date using the calendar. If you want, you can take, let's say save in or you can take again fast and click on add. This new task which is mark attendance has been added here. The same will be displayed here also in the to-do list. Now I will explain you the code which I have added for this update button. So let me input up this first. Right click assign macro. You can see this is open update form. This is the code open update form. This is the same validations which we have used for delete code which I have explained in the previous part of this video. First of all we are checking the selection should be range. If it is not it will give this message. The column count in your selection should be 1. The column should be always 2. If it is not 2 then it will give you this message. And once all the condition are matching then only it will display the update form dot show that means it will open that form basically we have put the conditions that you need to select this column one row or multiple row don't select any other column or the multiple column otherwise it will give you this message once you will select this column only then it will display this form so these are the validations now i'm going to this update form here in update form we have added a combo box this is the combo box you can see combo box one and we have added a text box this is the text box one and we have changed the size of this text box and i will show you we have taken the multi-line you can see this multi-line is true that means you can enter the multiple line in this text box because we have created this is as a comments box two command buttons are here update and cancel cancel again will be unload me you can see and now i'll show you the coding so on the user form initialization adding the value on combo box so with me dot combo box one first of all it will clear list of the combo box then it will add these three item value it will set by default completed all right now i'll tell you the code which i have added on this update button here i have taken few validation these are two validation make sure combo box one value should not be blank if it is blank then it will give this message and it will exit sir. Comments should not be blank, must enter some comments. You can remove this code if you don't want to put the comments or if you don't want to make comments mandatory then you can delete this code. But here I have put this code like comments is mandatory so if textbox one dot value equal to blank then it will give this message and exit sir. If both the value are filled then this code will run. Now I will explain you this code. Again we have taken the variable of the worksheet and assign it to the database sheet. Here we have taken two more variable. First I have taken RNG as range and LR as long. LR we are using for the row number and RNG we are using for the range. Then you can see I have put a for each loop that is 
for each RNG in selection. So it will run on each task available in selection. Now here I am using application dot match and we are taking RNG dot offset 0 comma 5 and we are matching with database C G2G. So what we are trying to do here, let me explain you. We have this column here, the same column available in database this column always will be unique so here we are using the match function from this value whatever you have selected here it will match with the database if it is available in database so we have used is error formula if it is not available then it will give some error if the error equal to false then only this code will execute the lr which is the row number will be assigned using the match function to that particular row which is available in database then we are changing the value of the database like on column d column d is the status column here you can see that will be available as combo box one dot value then the second is the comments column e is the comments this is the comments that will come from the text box one dot value then column f is the update timestamp so we have used bba dot now here then column g this is the column g and we have used the same formula like b and c and the row number we have used the dynamically which is equal to b and lr and c and lr once we have updated the data then we are calling this refresh data module and we are giving this message and unload the form all right friends that's it in this automated to-do list video series i hope you have enjoyed this video friends if you like this video if you like this to-do list please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching